hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see right front of me this is Dell P 69 G which is called Inspiron 13 dash 5368 twin one laptop so today I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows in EVFI environment which is very simple but first of all make sure you do have the right bootable USB thumb drive if you'd like to know how to create UEFI based bootable Windows 10 thumb drive then you can see uh, the video and video link would be in the description so first of all make sure your AC power adapter is connected and you do have the right bootable USB thumb drive so first of all make sure you connect your charger and connect the USB into the USB port and then we'll restart it we'll get into the BIOS and we'll complete the Windows installation make sure the laptop is turned off and then press the power button and then keep pressing F2 thanks to Dell Dell always made it easy always the BIOS button is F2 once we get into the BIOS then we can see a couple of highlighted option let's connect my external USB that would make it easier for the illustration let's zoom in the screen and now there are a couple of options we need to get in first of all the boot sequence which is the third option from general and as you can see there are two options at the middle one is UEFI and legacy if you are one selected into legacy then make sure you click on UEFI just to choose it so once it's done then we need to get into another option and on the legacy as you can see there are many options okay so once you click on EVFI, it gives you only a couple of options, as you can see. Okay, so that's done. And now let's go into security after choose that one. Security would be in the secure uh, boot settings. So now we're going to click on secure boot, as you can see that option. And then expand it, go to secure boot and try to enable it. Once you try to enable it, you might gonna get an error message like that. Secure boot is not allowed if legacy option ROMs are enabled. Okay, so one more thing we must need to do from the advanced boot options. So let's go back to advanced boot option and change and turn off the legacy option ROM. So press OK and go back to boot sequence there is no option if you don't find it then go back to advanced boot options which is the bottom one and as you can see the first option which is enable legacy option ROMs we need to tick it out once we do tick out then it's going to give us privilege to enable the UEFI so make sure you tick out apply the changes press OK and then we're going to go back to secure boot option to enable it because there is a relation with EUFI and secure boot if both of them now enable it would not gonna work so click here now try to enable it as you can see now no more error message press OK and then see what is next and now what you can do we can restart the system and we will try to press F2 to get into temporary boot option just to choose our USB thumb drive for Windows installation now as you can see it shows only couple of UEFI boot option I can't see my USB option okay this might be where I connected to the USB port is not good so I'm gonna switch into the different port you might have experienced same situation don't worry try to connect into different USB port and give it a try so we're gonna do the same thing again we're gonna press and hold to restart it and then again we'll try to choose the temporary boot option by pressing F12 so after a couple of attempt I find out what's the reason as you can see the bottom option change boot mode hit enter for settings and choose EFI boot and secure boot is off so click apply and now it's going to take us directly to Windows installation 
As you can see the Windows logo, so the setup is starting up. It takes a few seconds or minutes just to reload it. First of all, I had an issue with the USB thumb drive, as you can see. This is quite old, so it does not connect it properly. And second one was the settings, you know. But after we changed both, it was okay. So now from here, it's pretty simple. You need to choose whatever you need to choose. Okay, for me, United Kingdom, hit next. Install now. From here, we're gonna accept the terms and condition and choose if you would like to do the clean installation or the upgrade and then we need to choose the drive so first let's accept the terms and condition and choose the bottom one if you choose the bottom option you're going to lose everything uh you know obviously you have to do the clean installation so i'm going to delete all partition and i will keep only one so make sure you back up your data before you get into this process otherwise you're going to lose everything so i'm going to delete one by one and make only one simple partition to reinstall the windows now i'm going to hit next and the main setup process would begin it takes time it depends on your laptop's configuration how strong it is how fast drive that you go and how fast years we have and after 10 15 minutes it should be done if it is really really slow otherwise it takes even less time to get it done so from here I'm going to pause the video because it takes so long just to make the video shorter and we'll see what is next. So finally it's done it took a little bit of time as I said it depends on your hardware configuration if it is strong it takes very less time if it is slow like that it takes little bit of time thank you so much for watching still if you do have any question please leave it in the comment section I'll see you in the next video bye for now thank you